Welcome to a Command & Conquer Best of 3 between Kanamensa in the red playing as Nod versus Black Templar Gaming in the blue playing as Nod as well. And Nod Miller on Unknown District Revamp, both players moving their construction yard a little bit. This is an interesting map because it does have those extra, or like, neutral uh, communication centers, which you can capture. But are we going to see those used? Maybe, I mean, it's fine. You can use them. It's giving you attack, it gives you the minimap. It's fun. It's great. I just don't know if people are going to use them. Seems like Kano might, or that's just like defending the choke point because this and this are both pretty good choke points double ref out for Kano and triple already for Black Templar being slightly faster with all of that and they both moved the construction yard though I believe Black Templar moved it a little less right? no, seems pretty much at the same place so, fine Does mean that Black Templar's ego should be a little bit better, at least early on. Of course, it's going to matter a lot less if both players stay on the same ref count, like later on. But for now, they are slightly ahead. A couple hundred is still significant, and there is the first airship out for Black Templar. Pretty standard to see that after your third ref and there it is for Kano. Build orders don't quite line up just because of this power plant placement. But still, idea is the same. Over here buggies already might be trying to scout. Or they are just guarding the choke. Both would work. Could like sit in front of the harvesters. Or like in front of the refineries blocking the harvesters, but not doing that. Now, are maybe intentionally unlocking the communication center? Could also just be a misclick, in which case it doesn't matter. No, an early buggy, so indeed it is intentional. Does make sense. I mean, you don't really see bikes this early on normally. So, going for it intentionally does make sense. And Lux Flame tanks for you, of course. Right? Yes. Yes, be confident. Yes. And although Kano has like expanded over here with like another two refs, getting them to five refs total, Black Templar has done the same thing, but for more efficient harvesters. Has now indeed captured that communication center and seems to be keeping it around for their minimap. I mean, they have the power because of that extra spidering down. So probably we'll just keep it around for the time being. At least. Not sure if it is for tech, though, because I don't see any frame tanks coming out yet. So it might have been just for pure, like, minimap. Which, you know what? I don't hate it. Black, Black Temple are actually slightly behind, or like equal again in eco. So indeed, that early eco lead isn't going to matter much. Bike is getting sniped. Okay, very nice. And Kano now finally moving down with their spidering. Expansion for Black Templar is a little bit better. Sixth uh, refinery was already out over there for a while. What is the sixth one for Kano will still take a while. Army number is quite good for them, though. I mean, just three buggies over here for Black Templar. Now four. Whereas there are more for Kano. So they can actually take some really good engagements, and they have been doing that so far. Might be distracting Kano by, like, driving away. Because that way, of course, they don't hit your airship. But now, getting their other forces as well. Reinforcement is very nice. Forcing Kano to run away. Kano now also going for some bikes mixed in. Dealing very good damage, but they might be 
uh, like micro then and it seems like black templar is doing that mostly i mean one of them is still alive but we'll go then very shortly there it goes right now fight should just be a lot better for black templar and they're cleaning everything up units up north still okay with the turret as well so black templar will have a very hard time pushing in over there same thing over here though this ref is of course not really defended by that turret Kano now having to send forces back southwards and in the meantime black templar just expanding no turrets around it one turret now here for Kano. Do well one turret versus like seven bikes bu buggies i mean yeah not really a point in the buggy staying there so of course makes sense that they are moving away no point in losing your forces for nothing and well yeah forces for kind of like with those bikes mixed in can be very very nasty though only a one airship with this uh, like Black Templar has been on two for a while. Eco as well. Couple of thousand ahead for Black Templar now. So really nice. Also, even like one ref up north. Very nice to just get that field harvested a little bit. Getting them to eight refs versus just six. Yeah, six for Kano. That's a big difference. Seems like they do have... No, that's from this one. Right. Not a big deal. Though, well, is a big deal. Long range harvesting for this one. And these two as well. So it's not as if it's like efficient eco anyways. Though, of course, Black Templar has the same thing on the other side. There is the second airstrip now for Kano. And quite heavily defended with double turret already. Though, bikes could still just sit over there and snipe it. So, sure. Does make it a little bit more difficult, of course. And just a heads up, you're going to have to shield your rights very shortly. If you don't want to know, like, the state of the game. Because I do have to take away the overlay in order to, like, reset the speed. And there, uh, Kano, finally... Going to try and get that communication center, it seems. There it is. And... Hopefully, we haven't really missed anything. Kano now with even more scouting. Very good scouting as well. Knowing pretty much everything about the enemy base. Other way around, pretty much the same thing that they don't know about the main base from Kano. Not that it's the most interesting thing to know about... I mean, you don't expect it to be like three turrets around it, which there aren't, but like, you wouldn't expect it anyway, so if you want to snipe it, you can just run in. Though, of course, you have to sneak around all of these forces, which is going to be very difficult if you even want to attempt that. Forces from Black Templar are just so much better, though, at least down south. With triple, no, quad turret, though, that's uh, quite difficult to push. Not that many bikes around here, at least not for Black Templar. And some of these turrets, like this one here, quite sneaky. Good. Well, not really difficult to click, but like, you don't really see it and focusing on that refinery. Makes sense, taking down Nico. But yeah, you were getting shot up, shot at a lot. Up north. Good forces once again for Black Templar. And maybe if they had just moved all of their forces, not just on the south, they would have been able to accomplish more. Because it feels like some of the forces from Kana were like pulled in from up north. Not really sure about that though, didn't pay attention to it. But now like, yeah, 15, 16k ahead in eco, that's a significant amount. Floating 6,000 as well though. So sure, they are ahead by a lot. But they also have a lot more to spend. It's not as if all of that 15k, like 17k is on the field right now. And KD or like kill, kills for Kano are still like really good. Especially because, uh, well, 
not a lot of them were infantry and Black Templar had a good number of bikes mixed in as well. It's not as if one player had like the significantly more expensive army than the other one. Now just some bikes with like no meat shields. Oh, uh, I mean there are quite a good number of them. So that's quite nice, but yeah, still getting taken down quite easily it feels. But now we'll have to respond to these forces. Officer, half way dead, 50% health. Not great, but forces from Black Templar will be cleaned up. Sitting. There you are scouted, so not a big deal, probably. We'll have to defend their own officer, possibly. And this field is running dry quite all already. Yeah, it's already running quite dry, whereas this one just isn't because, well, yeah. Kano isn't harvesting it efficiently, and they haven't been harvesting, harvesting it for all that long, at least not when you compare it to Black Templar. In the middle, a good number of forces for Black Templar, so Kano will have to be pushed back, like Kano will be pushed back, but like up north, there is just one turret defending over there. Oh. Yeah, Black Templar knows about that as well. Kano now finally going to actually like capture the communication center is that just for cash no it uh, wouldn't make sense since it's expensive to capture uh but uh, i mean yeah okay just keeping it around for the minimap of course i mean you've still got the power for it so that's not a big deal triple turret quad turret again and communication center is slowly but surely going down. Is sold off. Uh, could Black Templar run in there now? I feel like they might be able to do that. Uh, but they do have to watch out with those officers. I mean, this one is going to go down now. There. So yes, they have an eco lead. And that will probably stay. Losing half this is never fun. Up north, field for Black Templar is like slightly more healthy compared to the one from Kano, but both aren't that pretty. And down south, Kano will have a slight amount more to harvest. Well, they will be able to harvest a bit more. And a e indeed, Black Templar trying to snipe, but it is not actually able to do that. Advanced power plants? Are we going to see SSMs from you? Ooh, MLRS. But, uh, yeah, MLRS. Multiple launch rocket system. Yes. And Obelisk as well. Okay. Don't think we've actually seen these in, an, in a... Like, not mirror yet. We have seen SSMs, but like, not these. Very expensive though, so don't lose them, which you're currently doing. I was wondering why you had like advanced power plants, but uh, yeah, that makes sense. If you want to have more tech. Also, you're almost at a thousand power. Please build like Temple of Nod. I want to see it. Fix your harvesters as well. I mean, you don't have that much to do, right? Might actually just be a good idea to like try and block your own harvesters if you don't want them to go here. One harvester down for Kano. And up north still a little bit of a stalemate. No one really wanting to push in. Okay. I mean just looking at positioning. Black Templar is doing a lot better. And this Tiberium regrowth. Regro, it's not really something kind of is a bit half because of the obelisk. Expanding into the enemy base, okay. I wonder what you're going for. Oh, that's that hurt. Minus 66 power. This also hurts though. Kano, see it. Please kill them all. Also, like Black Templar, you should be able to see that it's not powered. Maybe snipe. It's expensive. 
And it is now powered, but still. Sniping nonetheless. Okay. Officer going down. One of them. Black, Temp Black Templar retaliating and now with SSM as well. Great to see that. Okay, sure. I mean, that kind of means that uh, if you have them over here, Kano is just not able to harvest at all. At least, not from... Uh, stop it. That was too far. Not from this field, at least. But now Kano also with their own SSMs. Nope. We barely saw it. Like, where is... Oh, there it is. Actual tournament best of three series and we've got a nuke Great, I love it. I was like kind of joking when I said I wanted to see it. I didn't expect to see it But hey, I mean you see MLRS you see SSM then why not? Temple of Nod Again like very good placement on those obelisks I mean, there is nothing really Kano is able to do against it, except for their SSMs, of course. Which they seem to be directing at it. But up north, I mean, Eco going down over there. This shouldn't really be harvested secu uh, securely by Kano either. And there is the construction yard kill, okay. Airstrip going down as well. So, I'm just going to be honest. Black Templar is going to win this. I just do not see it. I don't see any way Kano is coming back from this. And they say the same thing. So that's a GG. Game 1 goes to Black Templar. It's time for... Four pools between Kanomancer in the red and Black Templar in the blue. Both once again playing as Nod. And Black Templar not moving the construction yard, whereas Kano did move it. In the meantime, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel for more Command & Conquer casts, or like videos and all that. Because, yeah, I mean, it's a not matter, like, who cares? It's four pools. Sure. We'll just see Triple Ref into an airstrip. Maybe with an Apache mixed in before the airstrip, but, uh... Probably not. Double ref out for Black Templar already. First one is out for Kano right now. Second one will follow shortly. There it is. Okay. And ooh, nope. No scouting for Black Templar there. So Black Templar already with second power plant. Kano doesn't have that yet. Nice little third refinery over there for Kano. Does mean that they all harvest this field a little slower than Black Templar for now at least. And this ref already getting quite inefficient for Black Templar. I mean having to move like 5-6 spots to get to the first Tiberium pep. That's quite far. On Kano's side not at all. But of course 4 ref versus 3. So, of course, another person who, like, doesn't follow my speech. Like, they're not going 3-ref War Factory. Kano is being a nice person. They are doing that. But Black Templar is not. Oh, well. They gave us Temple of Nod, so I can't complain. Well, I can. I shouldn't. Anyways, Airstrip is out and Airstrip is out. Slightly delayed compared to, one, to the one from Kano, of course, but that's fine. Fourth ref is now out for Kano as well, only slightly behind the Nico. So not a big deal, especially with like these two refs being more efficient compared to these two. It shouldn't be a very big deal. That's assuming that, like, these two are about as efficient as these two were. Third one is now out over there for Kano as well. And this one again, like, oh, that will run out of the Tiberium quite fast. At least efficient Tiberium, of course. 
Anyways, minus 50 power for Kanamensa. We'll be healing that power plant back up. And is trying to expand to the south, just like Black Templar is doing. Black, uh, Black Templar right now with 6 ref versus just 5 from Kano. And that's actually number 7, I believe. It is indeed. First to arrive at the big field. And we'll likely get up like a second refinery there. What is? Ooh, Kano actually going for like second airstrip already. That's early. Only after five refs. Well, early. Compared to Black Templar, it's very early. Power plant going down, which means that minus 15 power. And Black Templar actually seemingly going for like second airstrip as well there. Otherwise, I don't really know what they're building. If they're even building anything. And indeed, second airstrip first. Maybe like second refinery a little bit further south and further to the west just to get it like more efficient. Would make sense, of course. No real defenses around that construction yard is probably going to be sniped right there. And if it is, that's going to hurt a lot. I mean, Kano has forces, but not enough to deny the snipe. Just like that, I mean, uh, they should be able to keep that eco up, though this one is of course like not going into the ref, which hurts. And, well, Kano is cleaning up all of those buggies over there. Is that enough? I mean, Kano's eco is already behind by like 7,000 by now, which is a lot. And they can't build anymore. Construction, uh, communication center now out for Black Templar as well. Has already got like second airstrip as well. We'll now have like their ninth. Uh, yes, seems like it. Ninth ref. So their eco will be a lot better compared to the one from Kano. They're able to get up turret if they want to. Might consider obelisk, something along those lines. Just to hold on, get eco, then just destroy. I, uh, it's early to call it, but like being on just five refs, with like this already like gone and this as well. Uh, I, unless you're able to snipe something significant, and I don't mean an inefficient refinery. I currently do not see it. You're 10k behind. A lot of your forces are being cleaned up over here. But, well, Black Templar doesn't really have a lot of forces on the field either, and they don't have anything to spend instantaneously. Though with these bike numbers, they should be able to clean this force up without too many difficulties, right? With those buggies coming in as well. Turret even, ah, uh, yeah. Kano pushed away, at least a little bit. Though Black Templar 4 now is in minus 5 power. So we'll have like slow down production and all that, of course. Uh, though, yeah, no, the turrets don't shut down in minus power. So it doesn't really matter. Not as if they have an obelisk. And down south, you know what? Sniping that ref with the harvester. Very nice for uh, for Kano. Turret has been constructed, but not able to do anything. In the middle, though, Kano has been cleaned up. Now the reinforcements from Black Temple are going down south. Only three buggies left over there. And what does Kano have? They've got like two bikes, two buggies. That's it. Y you can't win with two bikes, two buggies. You just can't. 18,000 behind. That's like 50% of their harvested amount. Bike or like buggy is like trying to run away, but like that's it. Ref, though, of course, not efficient at all. Is taken down, doesn't lose a harvester, which is important. And oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Yeah, this time around, of course, it does go back. And. Well. 
Black Templar, yeah, they should just have superior numbers, superior eco, probably even like superior units, as in they are able to get up like higher tier units, higher attack level, flame tanks, APCs, you name it. If they want to, they can get them. Even light tanks could be fun, though I don't expect them to be needed. Over there, officer, wow, well, refinery sold off. This one should be sniped. Officer could be sniped as well. Two of them. Yeah, that's like losing more like half your eco. That hurts. Even just the refinery going down, it's now such long range mining. Unless Black Templar really just plays this badly, there is no shot Kano is going to win. Like, they really need, like, not, like, Kane himself to intervene in order to win this, because I don't see it. Officer will go down. Almost blocking the rune officer, but not quite. There goes Hand of Nod, soon. There goes. Production, gone. At least, like, infantry production. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I don't care. I don't care. There. I think Black Templar is going to win. 2.5k in the bank. Now spending it, of course, sure. And Kano already selling off some of it. Minus 110 power. Oh, I should watch out with that. Uh, yeah, minus 110 power, so... Uh, seems like they've given up. if they have indeed given up, then why don't you fully give up? So, well done that you made it this far into the video. Consider watching the video in your lower left. But that's all I'm going to have for you today and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Double Eco for Black Templar. Who wins this best for three?